Join Mr. Rabbit for a garden party with plenty of treats. What did I find on the Easter egg hunt today? Peeps Rice crispy Treats! Nothing beats a homemade Rice crispy Treat, but they are even more delicious made with Peeps for a distinct sugary flavor with extra gooey marshmallows. To make this amazingly sweet, no big Easter treat, be sure to keep on watching! Don't forget to snatch the peeps off the shelf before they are gone and grab a box of Rice Krispies cereal along with your butter and non-stick spray. I'm using 4.5 ounce packages of peeps for each color and keeping them in their own separate deep microwavable containers. You want to add 1 tablespoon of butter to each one and microwave for 50 to 60 seconds. Just make sure to keep an eye on these peeps so they don't overflow on you. I pause around the 40 second mark then continue microwaving until they are nice and melted. Once that's done, we're ready to stir in 1.5 cups of Rice Krispies cereal. I highly recommend spraying your spatula and pan with some non-stick to help with the stickiness. You could transfer the mixture into the pan after it is well combined and start pressing it down to evenly line the pan. Remember to spray down your hands for this too. Non-stick is your best friend. And guys, if you are new here, make sure you join the party and subscribe to my channel for new recipes every week. I'm just repeating the same steps as before for each layer. It's super fun that you can be creative and put them in any order you want the colors to be. I like using this clear loaf pan to see all the pretty striping that's happening. But of course, you can use anything that you have. Give this an hour and a half to set before popping it out of the pan. All you need to do is go ahead and loosen the edges. It will pull right away from the sides and flip it over onto a cutting board. To achieve those sharp and straight edges, I sliced off the rounded parts with my knife. Don't let these go to waste. They are perfectly delicious scraps to snack on. If you plan on making them into crispy pops like I did, it is best to wait overnight before inserting the sticks so the layers are stronger. But if you are enjoying them as plain old squares without sticks, there is no need to wait. After slicing them into even squares, gently twist a lollipop stick into the center. And for an even more decorative look, I put these paper straw covers right on top. To stick on extra peeps, cut in half with a knife or scissor and press the sticky side down onto the crispy treats. If they have trouble sticking, you can brush corn syrup on the back of the peep. I hope you enjoyed seeing how to make these colorful Rice Krispie treats and you have an fantastic Easter with your family. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.